welcome to another video um today i'm here to do a march flip through in my bullet journal um then after that eventually i'll get up an april one and then i may plan with me and then i'll be all cut up caught up and actually doing um regular videos but for now i have this march flip through that's late because i've started doing this um in april and basically what I'm trying to do with these first three or four videos is just get them all up so that you guys have something to look at more than just one video um, at the beginning of May, for example, if I just did the May flip through. Um, so you can get an idea of what my work's like, what my channel's like, things like that. So here we have a March flip through. And so we'll go through to the M tab and that brings us to March. Um, here I have a monthly layout, a mood tracker. Um, if you can see here, I got tired of coloring in the little shapes that I drew with the stencil and just switched to highlighting over them. And so later in April, um, when I get that video up, you'll see that um, I stopped doing the little doodles because I didn't have the patience to actually color them in. And here I have a sleep log and a habit tracker. Um, this is just things like working out. Um, if I called um, anyone in my family from where I am um, at college, did I read some stuff that I wanted to read or do any coloring? Um, this is just another personal habit. Sleep log. Ideally, this is like... A straight line. I want to wake up around 6.45 um, consistently and I did so for like a little bit and then down here this was when spring break started and I just completely fell off the wagon right there. A gratitude log, this weekly layout. Um, I think March is the month that I drop this but we'll see. Some dailies, more dailies notes on a website or blog by someone named cal newport who is basically someone that works on like organizational and study tips and things like that um a journal diary page some fonts that i was playing around with a little graph on kind of how my day goes on average was like going back and forth between like a break and going to class etc a swatch page march i started the lettering good vibes challenge because i wanted to work on my lettering so these are the first two days of that and then this is the first time i ever tried practicing with a tombow marker it is quite um yeah it's not great <laughs> Um, and then here we have a, another weekly, and then I started to set up my dailies, but messed up, so I just scratched out that page. Changed the dailies. More dailies. I really like this layout, um, with the alternating blue lines. More of the lettering challenge. This one is actually embossed. Um, I like that. This is my one of my best embossing projects, though I haven't done many. Um, but it definitely bled through or ghosted. I don't really know. I guess this is ghosting um, a lot, and I did not expect that. Um, and then here I copied down just the bus schedules, so I didn't always have to take out my phone to look at them more of the lettering challenge here i attempted to work on some blending with prismacolors and it gets better down the word here i was like i don't really know what i'm doing how do i get these colors together and then around here i kind of started to figure it out another journal page some really quick lettering videos we're getting into midterms here so sorry lettering um challenge entry things and yeah so we're getting into midterms here so i had a lot less time to work on those 
Um, this is a page where I planned out a trip to visit my sister at her college. Um, this is another weekly. I think this is the last one. We'll see. Some dailies. I liked this form of lettering with the abbreviation and then the script over it. I thought that was fun. And... Here I was trying to see when I would go home for the summer. Uh, I was thinking about going back at the beginning of the summer and then ended and decided to end up going at the end. Um, swatches, I got a lot of shuttle art gel pens. I swatched them all right there. More lettering good vibes entries. Um, these two I did really quickly at school. Once we get over here, I actually stopped doing it for a long time and then caught up once spring break gets started. So around here, I'm actually, um, I really like these last few that I did because I had more time. Um, so this took me a really long time to draw. I'm not good with faces. This is washi tape background, and these are little hedgehogs. I thought they were cute, but you can't really see them. And I did this these clouds for dreaming, and so that actually used a lot of that washi tape, and it took a long time, but it was fun. I created this cover page to mark where spring break started, and then I get into all the dailies, and I did... My spring break is two weeks long, so I did the same type of header for every day, except for right here where I decided to invert the colors because I decided that I liked this one better. And yeah, this was fine, but I kept this format for two weeks, so it definitely got boring. Um, and this right here is washi tape that I cut to the appropriate shape, and that, that, that took a long time. Um, but it was fun. I did it during spring break, so I had a ton of time. Um, these stickers for the days are from an Etsy shop um, called Created by Danielle, and they're really cute. Um, these are the smaller ones, I believe. Easter, some Crayola Super Tips swatches, more lettering good vibes. Um, so I really like these. Um, my let You can see that my lettering gets better. So this one is the first day I really worked on lettering with Crayola Super Tips. And then I kept that up for the next several days. And by the time we get down here, um, you can see that it's a lot better here. I ran out of room and things didn't connect right. And then I actually really like how that came out. More random lettering. I got some metallic um, gel pens here. So I used them a lot because I liked them. Or I wanted to. Um, it turned out that the more I worked with them, the more I realized that they just were too inky. And so that made it hard. The tip was really broad and they were really inky. So all the lines were really thick and wet and I didn't really like that. And then here, half of this word is gold and half of it is silver because my gold gel pen just stopped working. Um, the ink inside of it got really dry and cakey and I don't know why that is. I only had them for a couple of days. Um, so that was weird. I didn't like those gel pens. I really like this lettering that I did. Um, I did this with a Tombow marker. So if you remember the first time I tried doing anything with the Tombow marker, they looked like this. And then I was able to get this out. And so I was really proud of that. Um, and I work a bit more with the Tombow markers here and then some Crayola Super Tips here. And then this is the last um, Lettering Good Vibes Challenge for March. And then at the end of this page, I just kind of put a Michael's wish list um, because my sister's college is close to a mall with a Michael's craft store in it. And I was really excited to go there because my college is in the middle of nowhere and there's not a Michaels or any kind of craft store um, so I was really excited and then this is a page that I made for things that I did with my sister uh, we didn't do much I took a taxi her school logo is under here 
um, and this is just hiding where it is. I went to Michael's, got some more Tombos, um, the pastel set, these metallic pens. I launched my Etsy shop, but then recently took that down because I can't focus on it while in school. I hope to really get it going over the summer. Um, here I set up an expense tracker. And then things get weird because I set up April during spring break since I had so much time. But that means that it's in the middle of other things for March. Um, so here are some April pages. And then here I have notes for a stationary showdown. It was during spring break that I realized that this wouldn't last me past April. And so I needed to find another notebook. And I wasn't sure how um, to go about deciding what notebook I wanted. So I looked at this stationery showdown by Amanda Reach Lee and took some notes. And her winners were Scribbles That Matter, Deanbats, Dean Bats, and Limon. I tried a Limon notebook. I'll probably post a video talking about my experience with that sometime, but I didn't like it. The pages were too thick. Like you couldn't flip them like that. And I like being able to flip because I don't usually reference my index. I just like to flip and look for things and you couldn't do that with a limon. And so I'm actually in a different type of rhodia now. Um, here I'm, I'm trying to practice with super tips. I was just watching a tutorial video. And then these are title ideas from a different YouTube video. Um, I wish I'd written down the name, but I don't have it. It's just these aren't my ideas. Um, and then here I'm trying to plan out how I'm going to work on my next notebook, um, what month I think it'll start in. I was counting pages to see if I thought I could fit May in this notebook and realized that there was no way that I could. And then that's some um, April stuff. I'm considering looking and making stickers, um, but that requires a lot of supplies and things that I don't have yet. But I was doing some brainstorming, some budgeting. Um, trying to decide what kinds of things I'd want to do or learn to do. I mentioned in my February flip through that I'm not the best doodler, but I think it would be really fun to maybe figure out how to do that. We'll see. It's a potential summer project. Um, and so I also turned these pages into note pages because I got um, distracted. Um, I wasn't, this was during spring break, and then I just wasn't able to keep focusing on designing things and brainstorming. Um, oh, those are April pages. I have here a Sakura Pigma Micron swatch and my Prismacolor pencils. This is a doodle thing that I started while on the bus to my sister's school over spring break. And it, I never finished it. It didn't go well. I get, I get motion sick and car sick and stuff. So I couldn't focus on doing this while on a bus and since most of the time that I was traveling I was on a bus um, I just wasn't able to finish that then I have another section for spending tracking this is another random page where I started trying to um, work with the Tombos again over here I started making notes for something in my Etsy shop um, I need to edit those and it'll come back eventually and I'll post either on Instagram or mention in whichever video follows right after um, when I've opened it again. And then this last bit is more stuff for April. And so that's March. Um, in the back here, I have just some stickers, a stencil that I use mostly as a street edge, and then a notes page. And so that was March. Um, April will be up soon i hope and then i'll start mm, um recording for may and i'm really just waiting for some fun stickers i bought um to use in my may setup to come in so hopefully they get here before may so that i can use those otherwise i'll have to figure out something else um but thank you for watching and be sure to give this video a thumbs up and or subscribe uh, subscribe if you like it. I look forward to reading your comments and I'll see you next time.